So hello my dear students and learners. In the series of data structures and algorithms, I have already discussed about the basic concepts of 1D array, how to insert and print the elements of an 1D array, as well as how to delete an element from an 1D array. So we have already discussed those things. Now today, we are going to discuss a very important topic and the name of the topic is 1D array using pointer. Now my dear students, I hope that you have already have some idea about pointer. I have already discussed about the concept of pointer and with the help of the pointer, I have already uploaded so many videos, so many programs in the placement diary playlist as well as the C programming tutorial playlist. So if you want to really get familiar with this pointer concept, you please let's have a look on this. I have already mentioned the link of those videos in the description box. Okay, so you please check it out and be familiar with the pointers. Okay, now today, what we are going to do? First, we will declare an array and then we will store elements into this array with the help of pointers and we will print those elements with the help of the pointer. Now, what is a pointer? A pointer is nothing but a variable which can store the address of another variable. A pointer will actually not contain the value, rather it contain the address of a value. Okay, so let's have a look on the board. So, first we will include the header file. has include stdio.h so i have already discussed the function of this header file why this header file needs to be included in the program so you please check out the previous video that i have already uploaded okay then we'll start the main function so void main this is the main function we are defining okay and the return type of the function is void so it will not return any value now first what you have to do we have to declare an one di so we are declaring an 1D array int for example a5 that means we have declared an integer array a and the size is 5 that means this array a one dimensional array a can contain maximum 5 integer values okay then since we have to track those elements so and we, that means we have to track it with the help of this index so the variable we have declared that is i okay now we are declaring an integer pointer so how to declare an integer pointer asterisk ptr okay now here look at the board here this array and this variable i is not associated with an asterisk symbol but the variable ptr here ptr is an abbreviated form of pointer so this ptr variable is associated with an asterisk symbol that means ptr is a pointer okay now how many asterisk symbol is associated with it only single asterisk symbol so ptr is a single pointer okay so ptr will be able to contain the address now what whose address ptr can contain in star ptr means ptr is an integer pointer that means ptr is a pointer to an integer that means it can point to an integer variable okay so after compiling this line by the compiler what will happen the compiler will first allocate memory for this 1d array a so now i am drawing the memory map of this array so look at the board okay so this is the array a the name of the array is a suppose the allocation is starting memory allocation is starting from 1001 so since suppose we are uh, working in a 32 bit compiler so 13 32 bit compiler integer a single integer will take 4 bytes of memory so since this array dimension is 5 so 5 elements will take 4 5 are 20 bytes and this 20 bytes will be a contiguous location so 1001 to 1020 so this 20 bytes will be reserved by the compiler for this 1D array A. Now, here the each and every integer elements will take 4 bytes of memory. The, so, the first location will be of 4 bytes long. So, it will be from 1001 to 1004. The so second element will start allocating from 1005 to 1008, 5, 6, 7, 8, 4 bytes. Then the third element will start from 1000, 
9 and it will last up to 1012. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 bytes. The fourth element will start from 1013 up to 1016, 13, 14, 15, 16, 4 bytes and the last element will start from 1017 and it will go up to 1020. So 17, 18, 19, 20, last 4 bytes will be reserved for the last element. And you know that whenever we are talking about array, so definitely we have to deal the array with index and in array index always start from 0. So the first element index will be 0, then 1, then 2, then 3 and the last index, I have already told you that the last index will be the array size minus 1. Here the size of the array is 5, so the last index will be 5 minus 1 that is 4. Okay. So this is the basically the memory map of this one dimensional array. Okay, the memory, this 20 bytes con consecutive memory, contiguous memory location will be reserved. Okay, now what we will do? Here we have already declared the pointer PTR, integer pointer. That means it can point to an integer. So what we will write in the next line that PTR is equals to PTR is equals to A. Now what is A? A is the name of the array and whenever you are mentioning the name of the array that means it is the base address of this array. Okay, so just mentioning the name of this array it will give you the base address. So here PTR is equals to A means the base address of A means the starting address that is 1001. So the 1001 will be stored in the variable PTR. Okay, that means the value of PTR is 1001. What does it mean? That simply means that the PTR is now pointing to this location PTR is pointing to this location 1001 that means the starting address of this array that is the base address of this array. Now with the help of this pointer we will try to reach each and every location of this 1D array okay and we will first store the values into this array. So you know that if you want to store the values or if you want to print the values of an 1D array we have to execute a loop. Okay, we have already declared the loop variable i. Okay, now, so first, what we are going to do, we are going to accept the value, we are going to take the inputs from the user to store into this 1D array. Okay, so first we are giving a printf statement, printf new line, enter what I am writing, array elements. Enter array elements. Okay. Now, how many elements we can we have to store? Five elements. Okay. So we are now executing a loop in such a way that the loop must execute five times to store five values. So the loop variable i has already been declared, and you know that array index always starts from zero. So for i is equals to zero, we are starting from zeroth index. What will be the last index? Last index will be four. That means i less than five. Okay. Here the size is. 5, so less than 5 means it will take the last value 4, so 0 to 4, I will take value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, the 5 values, so it can go to each and every location, so I less than 5 and we have to increment the value of i by 1, that means first 0, then 1, then 2, plus 1, okay, every time. Now, what do you have to do? We have to scan the value, so scan f, then what type of value we are going to scan? Integer value. Because we have declared an integer array, this array is capable to store only integer value. So now, but this time we are we will not write ampersand of we are not going to write ampersand of AI that we have discussed in the previous video. No, because we are not going to store the value using the index. Rather, we are going to store the value using pointer. Okay, so we are not going to write ampersand of AI. So how can we store the value? So please let's have a look. So PTR is a pointer, it is now pointing to the address 1001. Okay, so first the value of PTR is 1001. Okay, now here the value of the PTR is 1001. And this is the first address where the element has to be stored. Now after storing the value at 1001, then we have to Sip the pointer PTR from 1001 to 1005 because this is the starting address of the second element. So then we have to increment the pointer. Okay, so that it can go to 1005. Then again we have to increment it to point to the third element address that is 1009. Then we have to shift it again to 1013 that is the address of the fourth element. And finally we have to shift the pointer PTR from 
1013 to 1017 that is the address of the last element okay so every time after inserting the element then we have to increment the pointer now how can we increment the pointer so if we write the statement like that scan a percentage d ptr plus i now what is i initially look at the board here the value of i is equals to 0 now the condition we have given 0 less than 5 i have already told you that it will occur at 5 times 0 to 4 for the value of i i is equals to 0 to i is equals to 4 so 5 times it will occur but initially the value of i is equals to 0 so ptr plus i means it is 1000 to 1 plus 0 now what is the meaning of 1000 1 plus 0 the value of ptr is equals to 1000 to 1 now whenever you are writing ptr plus 0 that means 1000 to 1 plus 0 so it will it, it will become simply 1000 1 very simple so 1000 1 it is itself is an address so no ampersand symbol is required ampersand symbol is required to fetch the address so since pointer itself is an address so no ampersand symbol is required you can simply write ptr plus i so initially when the value of i equals to 0 the ptr plus i value is 1000 to 1 plus 0 that means it is 1000 to 1 so whatever value will be scanned that will be stored at the address 1000 to 1 so suppose you are storing the first value 5 and that is getting stored in the location 1000 to 1 okay then what will happen i will be incremented now i will become 1 and if i become 1 then i less than 5 the condition is true so this time the i value is 1 so 1000 to 1 plus 1 now look at the board 1000 to 1 plus 1 what does it mean 1000 to 1 plus 1 simply it, it does not mean that it is 1002 it is not simple arithmetic rather it is called pointer arithmetic so whenever you are incrementing a pointer by 1 what will happen it will first check what type of pointer is it so ptr is a pointer to an integer it is pointing to the base address of an integer array okay and how much bytes integer takes it is taking 4 bytes of memory okay so whenever you are incrementing the pointer by 1 what will happen it will be incremented by 4 bytes okay so actually the compiler will convert this equation like that 1000 to 1 plus 1 multiplied by size of integer okay and you know that in 32 bit compiler size of integer is 4 so it will give you 4 okay so ultimately it will become 1000 to 1 plus 4 so you will get 1005 so although we have incremented the pointer ptr by 1 but since ptr is a pointer to an integer an integer takes 4 bytes of memory so it will be incremented by 4 that means 1000 to 1 plus 1 means it is 1000 to 1 plus 4 Okay, so ultimately after incrementing the PTR will go to this location that is 1005. Okay, now 1005 means the next value suppose we are taking it is 10. So next value will be stored in this location 1005. Okay, now I will be incremented again. So I will become 2. So 2 less than 5 the condition is true. Now 1000 to 1 plus 2. 1000 to 1 plus 2 means what? So this time it will be 1000 to 1 plus 2. So plus 2 means it will be 2 into multiplied by size of integer that means 2 multi 2 4s are what 2 4s are it is 8 so it will be 1000 to 1 plus 8 that means 1009 okay that means now ptr will move from 1005 to 1009 so in this location so now this whatever value you are scanning suppose the value is 15 so this 15 value will be scanned for the address 1009 and it will get stored at 1009 okay next time the value of i will be 3 so it will be what 1000 to 1 plus 3 3 means 3 4 j 12 okay so it will be 1000 1 plus 3 that means 3 multiplied by 4 okay 3 multiplied 4 means it is 12 and 1000 1 plus 12 means 1013 that means now ptr will move to this location 1013 okay so now the value will be scanned for this location so whatever value we are storing that suppose it is 20 it will be stored at location 1013 okay so this way we are incrementing the pointer and a new value is getting stored in this new location that is here for the fourth element the address is 1013 and where we are storing 1000 uh, value 20 value 20 next time for the last time the value of i will be incremented and it will become 4 so the last time the loop is iterating so 4 less than 5 the condition is true so what will happen now it will 
टेक द वैल्यू फॉर पीटीआर प्लस फोर ओके पीटीआर फोर प्लस फोर मीन्स पीटीआर प्लस फोर मीन्स वन थाउजेंड टू वन प्लस फोर वन थाउजेंड टू वन प्लस फोर मीन्स वन थाउजेंड टू वन प्लस फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई साइज ऑफ इंटीजर दैट इज फोर फोर जै सिक्सटीन सो नाउ पीटीआर विल बी इंक्रीमेंटेड बाई सिक्सटीन बाइट सो इट विल गो टू द लोकेशन वन थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सो फाइनली द पीटीआर विल मूव टू दिस लोकेशन वन थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन ओके एंड सपोज वी आर स्टूडिंग द वैल्यू ट्वेंटी फाइव इयर्स ओके सो इन दिस वे वी आर इंक्रीमेंटिंग द पॉइंट ऑफ पीटीआर एंड it is reaching to the next location and we are studying the value okay so i hope that you have understood the concept of taking the inputs using pointer to an one dia now what you have to do values have been stored only but already the values have been stored in the array now we have to print the array to check whether the elements that we have scanned has been stored it properly or not so now we will print a statement that print f new line array elements are as follows okay so you have to if you have to print the array elements then you have to execute the same loop once again so five elements are there so the same loops we have to execute for i is equals to 0 i less than 5 then i plus plus okay now this time we have to print so you are writing print f what integer value is going to be printed so the format specifier is percentage d you can put a space here so that elements will be printed taking a gap okay now what do you have to print we have to print star ptr plus re so when we have scanned the value we have used only ptr plus i ptr plus i is an address we have checked now If we have to print the value present at address, so first the value of i equals to zero. That the value of i equals to zero means it is one thousand to one plus zero, and one thousand to one plus zero means it is simply it is simply one thousand one. Okay. Now, if you want to find out the value present on a particular address, you have to put the asterisk symbol, and this is called value at address operator. so if you are putting this value at address operator in front of any address it will just fetch the value present on that particular address so asterisk of 1001 means the value present at 1001 so what will be printed first five will be printed okay next what will happen the i will become 1 so 1 less than 5 the condition is true so now it will become 1001 plus 1 1001 plus 1 means we have just checked that if you increment it by 1 it will be incremented by 4 bytes so what will happen it will become 1001 plus 4 that means it is 1005 so Now it will print the value present at one thousand five. Asterisk one thousand five means value present at one thousand fifteen will be printed. Okay. In this way, it will print fifteen, twenty, and twenty five. So all the elements will be printed by using this value at address operator. Okay. So now since this is a single statement inside the for loop, so this pair of braces is not mandatory. It is um, optional. Uh, similarly, here you can for the scanner statement. you can put the braces if you want to have and that is the end of the program okay now when this program will run what will be the output it will first print this statement that enter array elements so this line will be printed first enter array elements then what will happen you will scan the value so suppose these are the values you have scanned that is 5 10 then 15 then 20 then 25 these elements we have scanned and after that it will print array elements are as follows so i am writing array elements are as follows okay now it will print the value present on that particular address that means all the elements 5 10 15 20 and 25 those we have scanned now will be printed one by one okay so my dear students i can i hope that you have understood the concept of pointer and how to use the pointer to deal with an one d array how to take the values how to print the values Okay so thanks for watching please take care have a nice day thank you